Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to disable the right click option and also the selection of text in a website. So here we can see we have this website over here and uh, we can go ahead and select this text from here. We can also right click over here and uh, we can copy this and paste it somewhere. So we have the option of right clicking and also selecting the text in this website. So in this video, I'll show you how to disable both those options for your website. Now disabling these options uh, will not necessarily mean that no one will be able to copy your website data. There is always a way in which someone can copy the content of a website. Anything that's displayed on a browser can be copied. So disabling these options will not guarantee that your website content will not be copied. But it will obviously make it difficult for someone to copy the content. Alright, now first of all I'll write the code in a code editor and uh, we will test it out and then we will add the code to a blogger website. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called disable right click and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's create an HTML file. So let's click on new file and I'll just name it index.html. And now let's create a CSS file. So I'll just name it style.css and also a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. Right, let's start with the index.html file and in VS code you have a shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And here I'll just link the CSS file. So I'll just type link and press tab. And here in the href, I'll just type style.css. And in the body, I'll just type script colon src and press tab. And here I'll just type main.js. Right, let's create a simple design for our website. So I'll just create a division with a class of container. And in that we will have a heading. And I'll just type heading over here. And here we will have some dummy text. So I'll just type P. And here I'll just type lorem 50 and this will give us 50 words of random text. I'll just copy this paragraph and paste it once more. Alright, now let's create a notification. So whenever someone right clicks on our website, we want to display a message that right click is disabled for this website. So let's create a division with a class of toast notification. And here I'll just type right click is disabled for this website. Alright, that's it with the HTML. Now let's open this in a browser. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So you can just go over here to extensions and uh, search for Live Server and install that. Once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. And here we can see our website is being displayed over here. Now let's go back and let's go to the style.css file. And let me just add some quick styles over here. So I'll just type container. And we will set the font family to Roboto. And I'll just set the max width to 700 pixels. And we'll bring it to the center by typing margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And here we can see we have the content. Now let's style the heading. So I'll just type container h1. And we'll set the font family to Roboto black. And we'll set the font size to 80 pixels. And we'll also set the text transform to uppercase. And let's remove the margin bottom. So I'll just type margin bottom and I'll just set it to zero. All right now let's style the paragraph. So let's go back and let's type container P and I'll just set the font size to 18 pixels and we'll set the line height to two and the color of the text to dark gray. All right now let's disable the functionality of selecting the text. So right now we can select the text over here. So for that, let's go back and let's type body to select all the content inside the body. And here you have to type user select and set it to none. Right now, let's go back and now if we drag over here, we can see that the text is not being selected. Right now, the next thing we will do is we will style this toast notification over here. So let's go back and uh, let's type toast notification. And we'll give it a background color of black and the color of the text to white. And we'll set a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right. And we'll also set the border radius to 8 pixels and the font size to 16 pixels. And we'll set the position to fixed. And we'll set the bottom position to 50 pixels. And now here we can see we have the torch notification displayed over here. We'll also bring it to the center. So for that let's type left and we'll just set it to 50%. And now it starts from the 50% mark. So we have to move this element 50% of itself. So for that you have to type transform, translate x and set it to negative 50%. And 
and now we can see that it is exactly in the center and now what we're going to do is we're going to add a class called active to this torch notification when we want it to be displayed and when we want it to be hidden we will remove the class active so let's go back and by default we will set the bottom position to 10 and we'll also add an opacity of 0 and here we will type torch notification dot active and here we'll set the bottom position back to 50 pixels and we'll also set the opacity to 1 and here we'll also add transition of all to 400 milliseconds is so that we will have smooth animation and now we can see that the torch notification is not being displayed but if you go back to our HTML and here if we add a class of active we can see that it is being displayed over here so we will add and remove this class active using JavaScript alright now let's go to a JavaScript file and let's do that first of all let's reference this toast notification from here so let's type const toast notification equals document dot query selector and here I'll just type dot toast notification and now we need to add an event listener to the window so that we cannot right click over here so let's go back and let's type window dot add event listener and here we need to type context menu so this is the event that will be fired when we right click on the web page now for the next argument I'll just create an error function and the first thing we need to do is we need to prevent the default behavior of right clicking so for that you have to access the event over here so I just type e for event you can name this variable anything you want and here you have to type e dot prevent default now if we right click over here nothing happens because we have prevented the default behavior from happening over here now the next thing we need to do is we need to display the notification when we right click over here so for that we have to add the class active to the toast notification so I'll just create a function for that so I'll just type const show notification and here I'll just type toast notification dot class list dot add and I'll just type active over here and I'll just call the function over here so I'll just type show notification and now let's go back to our website and let's right click over here and here we can see that the toast notification is displayed over here now we want to hide this toast notification after some time so let's go back and we will create a timer so I'll just type set timeout and here I'll just type 2000 for 2 seconds and here I'll just type toast notification dot class list dot remove and here I'll just type active so what we are doing over here is that we are adding the class active to the toast notification over here and then we are setting a timer and after 2 seconds we are removing the active class from the toast notification so now let's go back and let's see whether it works alright so let's right click over here and we can see that the torch notification was displayed and it goes back so in this way you can disable the option of selecting the text and also right clicking on the web page now the last thing we will do is we will add this to our blogger website right here is our blogger website and we have opened up this post over here right now we can select this text over here and we can also right click over here now let's go to the dashboard of our website and let's go to theme and here we can see I'm using this theme called notable light now you have to click on this option over here and click on edit HTML and here we need to add the HTML the CSS and the JavaScript so first of all we will add the CSS so let's scroll down and find the CSS and here we can see these are all the CSS code for the theme so let's scroll down and go to the end of the CSS so this is the end of the CSS so I'll just make some space over here and let's go back to our code and let's go to the style or CSS file and we'll copy everything from this line of code and let's select it till the end and I'll just copy and paste this CSS to our theme so I'll just paste it over here now the next thing we will do is we will add the HTML for the toast notification so let's go back and let's go to the index.html file and I'll just copy this division from here and let's go back and let's go to the end of our theme code and here just before the body ends I'll just make some space over here and I'll just paste the code over here and we'll also paste the JavaScript so for that I'll just create a script tag and here in the script tag I will just paste the JavaScript so let's go back and let's go to the JavaScript file and I'll just copy everything from here and let's go back and paste it over here All right now let's save this and now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page 
And now if you try to select any of this text, we can see that it is not being selected. And if you right click over here, we can see that we have this toast notification which says right click is disabled for this website. So everything is working all right. The right click and the text selection options are disabled for this website. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Oh, 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 oh,